Welcome to From Zero to Hero. I'm your host, TopDark2002, and today my challenge is to go and buy a car from Breton. Uh, I already have some ideas of what I want, and it's quite... Well, I hope, hope they're good ideas. So, United Kingdom. Now, I, I, I don't know... What we'll find, that wouldn't be a bad shout. A lot of these wouldn't be bad shouts. Ooh, nah. <laughs> I know those can be turned into really good cars. Are they really good race cars, I'd say? Uh, if it would like to load, please. There's the radical wheel. <laughs> uh, could go for a Santa, but... <laughs> Actually... Bentley <laughs> Bentayga. Uh, ooh. See, the, the car I want, I, I am certain I'm not going to find. Although that's not a bad show, actually, because I've tried those before and they're very good. And we've hit the bottom. Hmm. I may just go for that AXC. Then again, and quicker. I wonder if I can get that advantage still. Because that advantage is. I would consider the advantage. If I can't get it, then. We're going in the. The, the jack. This is definitely the hardest one of these I've ever. I've had to do yet. By far. I've gone past it. No, I haven't. Auction complete. Ah, damn it. Let's go back out and go back in again, see if we can see if we can get on. Why is that reset that? I shouldn't have reset that, should it? Um Okay, we're in the right area, because I've just seen a car that's very similar to the one I was looking for. I can't justify that price though. <sighs> not spend that much no, I'm not spending that much money on a car for this show. Not in the first series. I'm not, not well, not for this episode, anyways. Come on, why can't I find what I'm looking for? 
Okay, and we're getting close to cars that I want, but not not the car, because I know which car I want, and I may just have to go searching for it. When it comes to British cars. That wouldn't... Actually, no, that's terrible. I've tried them before, and they, they're not very good. Right, I, I give in. I'm going to have to actually now go and search for it. Make it more interesting, we'll keep it on that. And it's not a DB10, because as you can see I'm currently in a DB10. And it's not one of these. It's not that. It's not that. It's one of those. Aston Martin DBS. Because it's British. And... Bingo! 75,000! Hang on, no, I want to buy that out. That's cheap! I want it! Keeping it. Ha ha. Right. Finally got the car after five minutes. So, time to take it to the track to see how it gets on. So, we brought the DBS over to the track now and time to see how we can do with it. And so far. It's very good, it's not slidey too much, it's pretty well balanced. I'm very familiar with the cars, I've driven it loads over the past, what, well, how long has this game been out? A year and a half now, so... Uh, this is one of my favourite cars of all time, especially in the Casino Royale spec, which this car that we bought actually was Casino Royale spec as well. This is my third Aston Martin DBS of this generation I own in uh, Horizon 4, um, which is interesting. And it's amazing, so it handles beautifully around this track. Look at that. Look at that. Absolute perfection. Coming up to turntable. Very good brakes. I would, I would love to see what, what can be done for this. So yeah, it's, uh, it would definitely be very interesting, because it's not the quickest car in the world, and, you know, it's... It, it would be very interesting to see what upgrades can actually be done to this car. Now it's time to just head on down California. Ah, <laughs> oh, go, I'll do that again. So uh, yeah, I'm just I was I, I literally was quiet trying to concentrate. So plus, I should listen to the amazing uh, sounding V12 in this car. 242, not bad, not bad. Can do better though. Well, as keeping up with some of the more modern, well, I'll say more modern stuff. This isn't exactly an old car, but some of the other cars we've had that are just a bit newer than this. This car keeps up pretty well. Just gonna go for this lap, just... Every single bit of this lap has to be perfection. Oh, 
I love that bit, like sort of a slight banked uphill corner, it's amazing. You know when I said perfection, I didn't mean that. Although I didn't spin it, which is good. Quite often when that happens, it ends up facing the wrong way. But then again, this isn't a Ferrari. And I'm not Sebastian Vettel. Right. Brick. Gain as much time back as possible after my little drift cock up. That is a really awkward braking zone as well, but I, I can't wait to see this one upgraded like. That was quicker! That looked quicker. 241.328. That's a respectable time. Not not the quickest, but not far off the pace. So, it's now time, as usual, to hand it over to Blow. See what magic he can make with it. So, we've managed to get the DBS back off of Boleto and um, it's obviously painted as well. It's got a nice big wing on the back and the uh, aero appendage on the front as well, the splitter. It's definitely my cup of tea, but he's put a massive fucking rule cage on the inside and I can't see. <laughs> It's like I'm it's like looking through a letterbox. <laughs> I understand why he's done it. He's done it so you can um so the chassis stiffer, so it'll have better handling, but I personally usually don't use them. It's very rare I do have a roll cage fitted to my car. Have to have a little tap the brake and lift there, or else we're going to be into the buildings on the other side. It's a little understeery, but I can manage. Until I get to a braking zone like that. As every time I say that, it just wants to crash. My luck today. Too badly around the tight twisty bit, that sort of more slow, uh, sl yeah, slow corners. I'm just a bit slow as well today. It's kind of warm today, it's what, well, it was um, 18, 19 degrees earlier, it's 16 at the moment. You know. Onwards and upwards. Yeah, it wasn't too bad through there. So the quantum hairpin. And now down the main street. I do feel a bit sacrilegious putting this V12 in this car. Ooh, not the, not came in the original, but what can you do? Mm. Right, and a break for the 
hair pad. Whoa! <laughs> nearly, nearly on the wall again. Slight blobs of acceleration through there. was a, actually not too bad through there, but I hit the bump on the exit, which cacked up a little bit for me. I know uh, not speaking isn't good for, I was going to say television, but this is YouTube, you know what I mean. It's not good, but I, I, I really putting all my concentration into this. Because it's really difficult to commentate and drive. Fly through the California section. Here we go, final corner ish. And across the line. What was the time? Two fourteen points. Six, six, eight. Now, I have to go and calculate this, so we'll be back in a second. Okay, so, the improvement of that was 26.66 seconds, which, again, for a car of that sort of calibre, that's pretty average for an improvement, which is very good. But we'll be back next week, buying another car from the auction house, upgrading it, and see how it does. Goodbye.